Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey guys. And I've got a whole bunch of stuff to tell you, but the first thing is, now I don't know if if Scott has gotten bit by a bee or something. <laughs> in the in the opening, you know, he was making all these things. I, I don't know what's going on. And I'm trying to read his lips and and then I say, well, he always plays jokes on me. <laughs> <laughs> this is all I would say about this is all I would say. All I would say is I was reading something in the chat, okay? And what I was saying was um I'm I'm going to say this. I'm Olaf as you all know, okay? And I like warm hugs. Mm, that'll work. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Yeah, well see, I didn't know what he was saying cuz it's I, national I, it's national hug a news person day. Oh, you are. And who does the news? You. So it's the. So I'm saying I like warm hugs. Mm -hmm. it, it's her fault that I couldn't um, read his lips. I said, oh my God, something is wrong with Scott. <laughs> oh, but God, y'all get, you got to get this. Now, Eddie is, you know, I used to think that, well, I knew Eddie was talented, but. I was thinking, you know, Scott knows how to put videos and things mm -hmm. together. I, 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 I want to say, please be specific about what I'm talent about, okay? Okay, wait. <laughs> wait. Everybody knows you're the eye candy, man. Wait. Everybody knows that. Yeah. 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 Eddie amazing. can really put stuff together. I mean, in fact, I called him master yesterday. He was doing so many videos and it was like man that's good you know and eddie's doing it you know well he's not doing it i he's, he's getting I'm, he's I'm, getting much better at cap cut and tick tock okay let us let us be absolutely <laughs> you know just because it's not because after dark it was like i was walking around this morning and i was saying oh let me go get dressed but i was talking to scott but I didn't mean that I was just fully nude. I was um, actually walking around getting dressed, uh -huh. but it's so confusing when I don't know the words to say. I, d I did want to say thank you very much for doing that, Eddie. It was very nice of you, and I greatly appreciate that. Absolutely. Yes, it was oh. nice. The uh, Selway stuff? Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm glad that I put it in Facebook because two people came back to me saying that's not the right website, and I hit it. And because I have an S, oh yeah, it go, yeah, it goes to the evil ones website. Yep. Yeah, right. Yeah. So I'm gonna, unless I'm, they say that, I went back and found I'm gonna. I'm, I haven't decided when I'm doing it yet. I it has to. The mood has to strike me for it, but I'm definitely suing her. <laughs> I, she, she and I, she and I, she's gonna have to fly to whatever court I decide I'm suing her in because, mm. yeah, she's she's a straight out criminal. Yeah. <laughs> One S. That's all he changed. That's change why she did it. That's why she did it. She's a total criminal. So mm. and she steals a lot of my business that way. Really? Oh my god. Oh my god. So many. Mm. So mm. much. So much. So much of my business goes to her because of that. She did it on purpose. And you know that news story that you did, everybody's doing it now, but you were the first, even before uh, Lalita Loca and, and Don hasn't even done it yet. You know, so I'm just saying, if you want to know news stories, Cruising with Keith and Scott, I mean, you can't go far from it because if you notice, we did that, uh, crew story on the people that were stranded in Africa a couple of days ago. We got it straight. And then I read the backstory yesterday on Google, you know, and I said, man. Yeah, I noticed like NBC and ABC were like a day behind on it as well. See, and stuff. That's yeah. what I'm saying. If you want to know your news story, you better get with Cruising It's uh, Fun. Uh, cruising is Fun. Cruising with Keith. And the mustard drill because they put out this the scoop before they're like those people 
the back in the day, back in the forties, and they went around getting the scoop. This is what they do. They go and get the scoop. Well, Eddie's got a scoop, and I know it is for pickles and pebbles. Let's get it on with the show. Good morning and welcome into <laughs> Go Live Together. We are your host and hostess. I am Jeremy. This is Cheryl. Up top, we got Eddie and Scott. Good morning, gentlemen. How is your day going so far? Why couldn't my name be Alice? Call in, uh, call in Atlanta. I will tell you that much. Uh, 45 yeah. degrees uh, here and it's probably sunny. Uh, the morning began at 42. Sunny and it's already getting a little dark. Mm-hmm. And uh, even though it's pretty sun out, two days ago we had a major storm go by. Uh, some tornadoes hit uh, the Conyers area mm -hmm. in uh, Rock Rockdale County on the uh, east side of the state mm -hmm. near um, Sharon. And uh, thank God, uh, you know, not uh, wasn't too bad. So, but other than that, it's gonna be a great day. I slept great last night because the uh, room was cold. And and I'm right now. If I put my head down, I'll be gone. Yeah, I was going to ask you about Sharon. I hadn't seen her in the uh, in the chat in a while, so it's good she to know that they this morning. been going to a doctor's appointments with her sister. So yeah. okay, well that'll work. Uh, Scott, yeah, what is the weather report from where you are sitting? I mean, it's it's currently a little sunny. It was very foggy this morning for some reason, and it's burning off. So it's you know, so the sun is kind of hazy out there, but it's going to be going away in an mm -hmm. hour or so, and we're in for more torrential downpours for the entire day, um, which means I cannot do what I need to do before I leave. Um, I can't do it today. I'll have to do it tomorrow probably. It's currently forty-two degrees. Um, and it's only going up to a high of, well, they say 50, but this time of the year where I live, you're not getting to 50 degrees without sunshine. Mm. Okay. Hey, I want to ask you a question before we go any further. If you can't get to your bees, do you think your children will do it for you while you're gone? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> neither of them neither of them are are well declan doesn't like bugs right but um, i don't know that they're necessarily too scared of them but neither of them ever showed an interest in it so. oh well, that'll work if you are here for the replay welcome in and uh hopefully you'll stay for the duration of the show thank you guys so much for coming in we appreciate hashtag team replay but if you are here right now, good morning and welcome in KK's Travel and Education Vlogs has made it in. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Traveling with Tinkerbell has made it in. Good morning. Good morning. And she says, it is a sunny day in Florida. Three days until Carew's Day. No, actually, it's four days. I know, right? Thank you for that donation of fairies and more donations coming in from the cruise nuts. We got palm trees pineapples and nuts oh i went over and i watched uh one of their vlogs yesterday mm -hmm. and it was as always you know i don't know how they get those drone because i know it's drone for it might be mm -hmm. not i don't know but they have such a lovely presentation on mm -hmm. vlogs absolutely pk adventure travels good morning Good morning. What's up? And it says, good morning from good old Florida. We survived the first big windstorm of the season yesterday. We need the rain here badly. Yes. I know, right? And they're going to be our guests. It's dry it's everywhere. Tomorrow, I mean, Friday, right, Scott? No, no, not not this Friday. Uh-uh. Um, uh, another good. Friday coming up, you know, either this month or next. Nice. Um, on our Friday night show. Yeah, I know. I can't wait. Midlife Travels has made it in. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And next up in the chat is Yo 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 Brooklyn in the house. Hit that like button, everybody. I like butter toast. Eddie Lugo Studios has made it into the chat. Good morning. Mike and Rihanna's Adventures. Good morning. Good morning. Our reinforcements have arrived from the north. Ooh. And they say it is 35 degrees Fahrenheit with rain with a high of 42 degrees today. Hey, we inching up. Yes, and I like this that. This is good weather. news. 
Okay, here we go. Leonard Family Fund came in with the day of the day. We always appreciate you coming in with mm -hmm. this report. Mm -hmm. And she says, good morning. Happy National Vitamin C Day. National Burrito Day. National Chicken Cordon Blue Day. Mm, yum. National School Librarian Day. Mm. National Hug a News Person Day. And Jeep 4x4 Day. What? Yeah, man. We got a we got a whole Jeep weekend. It's called Topless Weekend. Topless Weekend. So, <laughs> yeah. And uh uh it, it, yeah, during this time. Um, a lot of people do go to jail they um, do. because they misunderstand the, the thing. If you have a car that is a convertible or doesn't have a top or a removable top, you are welcome to bring that down here to Galveston. It's mainly Jeeps, but, you know, the uh, the the slingshot people are coming, The you know, anything with a convertible. The nude women are coming. And, and you know, topless women um, have a tendency of, of, of doing their thing and getting arrested here. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, Jeep weekend. It's, it's, it's a big thing down here. It's a big, big thing. Nothing but Jeeps everywhere and uh, slingshots mainly. Najima Brown has made it in. Hello. Welcome in. in. I'm a good one. I think it's called Let's Go Topless Weekend. Mm. And then what that means is take the top off of your car and drive around. Controversial Cruising has made it in. Hello. Welcome in. What's up? Cruising with Keith has oh. made it in. Yeah, you got to hug this news person right What's here. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Uh, I'm telling you, Across the Waves had a good show last night. Mm -hmm. It was very interesting because that's one of the places that we're going mm. is Key West. And um, so they did that tour of mm -hmm. Key West Port. So for those who are going on the 2.0, hit it up. Mm -hmm. Got to learn all about Key West, where we're going. Mm -hmm. Jennifer from Embarkation Nation has made it in. Hello. Good welcome morning in. and congratulations. Good morning. We hear congratulations. Uh, we we hear a big congratulations are in order. Yes. We just heard from a little birdie that flew through here. Anthony on the move has made it in. Hello. Welcome in. Good morning. Good morning. Kathy Mills has made it in. Hello. Good morning, Kathy. Good oh, morning. The Mustard Drill has made it into the chat. Good morning. Good morning. Where? I love that guy. He's up he there. is. Nope. He Talking is still, to himself. He is still in Paradise Beach doing some stuff like this right here. <laughs> You know, this is something that we just we should all be doing. We can learn from Keith. Sometimes you got to check in with the viewers and see what it is that they like and what they're wanting to see uh, from you as a creator. Um, so he's doing it here. What did everyone think of my latest cruise news? I did it from my laptop. Which does everyone like better, me standing or from my laptop? That's a good question. You know, I'm. A, can I answer that question? Do that. Yeah. Okay. Now, for me. I like the standing because you are so tall. You you command that presence, mm -hmm. but you don't have to do it. You're the only one that um, I know that stands. Stand. No cruise uh, ship to shore cruise news stand. Uh, uh, Doug Parker stands. Yeah, it's it's not too many that stand. You're right. You're right. Doug Parker stands mm -hmm. and, and our local news people stand. Yeah. So it's like you could take a cue from what the professionals do or you can do your own thing. I, I mean, in my opinion, don't don't second guess yourself at this stage, man. Right. You, you, know, first. you are you are you it's first. cruise news time. Yes. Right? yes. Keep going. Keep going with Keep that. Going. Keep going. Yep. I'm sure nobody watches cruise news time and says. I think this would really be better if Keith was sitting. Right. Yeah. That they're there for the cruise news. They're not yes. they're not necessarily there to watch you stand or sit. Um do do what works. Yes. Do what works and so far what's working is are you standing? Is you standing. Rooted in essential oils. Hello. Welcome Good morning, in, sir. Good morning. And 
And here we go. Traveling with Tinkerbell says, my daughter lives in Missouri and they got hit with a tornado and she has no power for two days. Wow. Praying for her since she just had her baby. Hopeful, hope that power comes on soon. I do too. Wow. Man. That's, Canadian that's Family Live. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. What is in the egg skillet today? Mm. Mm. Leonard Family Fun. Nice and sunny in Birmingham. It is a nice 46, but with a gentle west wind of 11 miles an hour. Feels like a chilly 41 degrees. Mm. Ooh. I still like that 41. Well, we got some light cold temperatures coming in. Yes. Oh, okay. Here we go. Elizabeth has made it into the chat. Good morning. Hey, babe. Welcome in. Oh, and she says the weather report is it is insanely warm downstairs. Mm. I know it. I feel sorry for you. You know, we can't put him in timeout and just leave him. And you and I go on the anniversary cruise. I mean, it's up to you, you know. Uh, that's Yacht Club. I'm, op I'm open for whatever. You know, you know that's Yacht Club. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. Uh, cruising on the high seas. And travel. Has made it into the chat. Good morning. And, yep. Hang on. Midlife Travel says currently 44 degrees here in Southeast Oklahoma with a high of 71 today. And I forgot Rob's hearts. I don't know why you're coming in as a green. I mean, as a blue, you should be green. I think they, uh, they mess. Oh, snap. House of X Entertainment Inc. has made it back. Hello. Welcome in. Hello. 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 They had a premiere last night. Mm -hmm. I, I went in on their premiere last night, you know, and uh, they had a rocky ship. Yeah, really? They did. They had a rocky ship going uh -oh. to brunch. I know they didn't stop Leo's dance moves. Well, it didn't stop them from going to brunch either. <laughs> Wouldn't stop me. <laughs> Anthony on the move has a question for you, Scott. What details are needed for your bees when you're away for a week? Mm. Well, without getting too much into it on this show, um, right the bees just got installed so right now is a very critical time for manage from a management standpoint so it's really just about making sure that everything kind of goes smoothly for them at this point so that they can establish themselves there's lots of things that have to happen in there right now and of course they can do it all themselves but i just want to make sure that they do it in a way that doesn't leave more work for me down the road um and so being away for 12 days is kind of a, not a great thing. Um, so, uh, but there's nothing I can do about it at this point. So, you know, we're just going to trust the bees and uh, hope that they um, don't make too much work for me when I get back. Okay, okay. I got one more question for Scott. I, I know and this is burning deep down in my soul, Scott. You said that the bees poop. Okay. Yeah, but they won't poop inside. They have. They will hold it until they leave. Oh. They will. Go, they what we call we call them cleansing flights. So they go on cleansing flights. But just like anybody, okay, just like any other creature, sometimes it's all they can do is to make it out of the box out of the hive. Um, so you will see it on the, literally on the outside of the hive. Mm -hmm. Now there is a disease that bees get called nosema. And nosema is, is can basically, you know, it's, it's like, it's like a human, right? So nosema can cause a terrible thing. And when you would have the entire front of the box covered in that, that's when you know, you got a problem in there, you know, you got a nosema. But most of the time, it's just, you know, a little bit here and there. And it's just because they, you know, could barely make it outside before they had to go. Um, but, you know, they will also land on me and poop on me oh, <laughs> as well. So, you know, it happens. But, um, you know, it's not a big deal. But it is like crazy glue. Um, it doesn't just wipe off. Mm. 
Leonard Family Fun says we will make it to a balmy 62 degrees, but those winds will keep us a little cool. Love it. Mm-hmm. I know we could catch all the coolness down here that we that yeah, we can get. It's gonna be in the 80s. Oh, gas today is 664 a gallon. Hmm. Cruising on the high season travel, got a gas That's a real bargain. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Maritza's yarn and crafts. Good oh, morning. I didn't bring my yarn. I'm sorry. Good morning. I'll go get it. What else? Yes. Midlife Travels says Carnival has raised their 12 pack of water prices again. Yep. yep. It is now $15. Bring your cups and refill with water. That's ridiculous. Yep. And it's and 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 at this point, you know that it's just pure greed. Yeah. Oh, snap. Cruising with Judy has made it in. Hello. Welcome in. Hey. What's up? The, welcome to the morning shenanigans. We always been, been a while. Yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> I think we have a special request here. Uh, love the grape juice dance. Scott. <laughs> mm. <laughs> and yeah, before I get into that, let me see. Uh, let, well, let's put him in the pool this time. I keep, I can't get it out of my head. It's like a child that has, uh, that, that disobeyed me and jumped in the pool <laughs> while I'm waiting on him. And I said, and I, I, I still can't get that out of my, I, he disobeyed me. Well, Elizabeth has a cruise report. Uh, no yacht club this cruise. Gin pop this time. Yeah. Oh, I feel sorry yep. for you. Mm. And even if I we were, uh, if, even if we were on yacht club, this class ship is so old that yacht club is not completely self-contained. Oh. So you get basically a garrison of armed escorts that take you to the uh, yacht club restaurant. Because they have to escort you through. That's the way they make it sound, right? I'm just being ridiculous about it. But that's the way they make it sound when they say to you, they're like, oh, the restaurant's not inside the yacht club. Like somebody's going to be like, oh, don't say it. You know, like, like it's okay. It's all right if it's not. But yeah. in any event, we're just in um, just in the standard balcony cabin on this cruise. Leonard Family Fund says, I know it's cheaper than purchasing a bottle of water at the airport, but I think Carnival made a bad move with this because we aren't allowed to bring bottled water on, so you gouge us. Yeah. 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 I mean, that's exactly. the cheapest brand ever. That uh, brand of water that they, uh, that they exactly. sell. Exactly. Yeah. I remember when it used to be like $3.50 or so, and then it went up to 12 and that was unbelievable. You know, I stopped buying it after that. Yep. Okay, and I believe, hey, Robert Cruz Brothers has made it in. Good morning. And he says, what's up, Scott? What's up? Yep. Are you watching us on LTE? <laughs> <laughs> That's an old phone, isn't it? LTE is an old phone. Uh-huh. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay. Yep. Uh, now the drunk Rob dance is being requested here, but I do have to put a disclaimer with this. Uh, we got this directly from Rob and no, this was not taken from another channel. Uh, so here goes. to go and run and get my knitting because I have been asking people that knit 
to come check the show out. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, this is Gigi's blanket right here. It has yes. grown in size to say the very least. <laughs> yes, it's going to be like a, a real full size blanket, mm -hmm. you know, for my my baby, my babies. The biggest baby blanket you will ever see. <laughs> but they can use it in their car. Mm -hmm. It's when they go on road trips and stuff. Well, we are all caught up in the chat, which means that it is now time for me to show you the visitor that we have in town here today. And it is none other than the Carnival Breeze. Mm, the baby ship. Yes. Oh, I love it. I love that horn. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, I need to go on a cruise. He's... I, I just, oh my God. I'm if you, a, if I'm you are, book it while you're going. if you are sailing away on this big, beautiful vessel today, we are waking up to 64 degrees with 50, 53% humidity and sunny. Your sail away forecast for today is as follows 75 degrees with 50% humidity, only 12 mile an hour winds and sunny. So it's going to be a beautiful sail away today. Beautiful sail away. Mm -hmm. So I ask where the rest of our ships are. And it turns out we have two ships in today, but because the breeze is zoomed up so much, you cannot see the Disney magic mm. uh, sitting in a cruise terminal two behind it. Um, so we got the magic and the breeze in, in Galveston today in Cozumel are four of our ships, the dream the Jubilee, Big the Harmony of the Seas, and the Voyager of the Seas are all in Cozumel. Big money. Yes. And the Prima and uh, the Prince, Regal Princess are both at sea today. So that's where the Galveston ships are today. Mm. And while we are... Okay. They're still talking about water. While we're still caught up in the chat, I believe it is now time for... Jeremy Goes Bananas. Welcome to Jeremy Goes Bananas, the segment of the show where I attempt to read what happened on this day in history. Today is Thursday, Bananas. April 4th. Right. <laughs> and uh, on this day in history in the year 1785, Bettina von Arnim one of the outstanding women writers in modern German literature was born in Frankfurt, Amain. Hmm. Is that part of Germany? I believe so. And I eight, born, yes, Amain. I don't. I never heard that. Mm -hmm. In 1841, after serving for only one month, William Henry Harrison became the first U.S. president to die in office. He was succeeded by Vice President John Tyler. Mm. In 1850, with a population totaling about 1,600, Los Angeles was incorporated as an American city. Mm. In 1862, in the American Civil War, Union forces under General George B. McClellan began the unsuccessful Peninsular Campaign to capture the Confederate capital of Richmond, Virginia. Mm. Virginia keeps coming up, huh? I know. And and before we go any further, I don't know if you any of you ever watch uh, Southern Fried Homicide. Mm -hmm. It talks about all the the people that have committed some type of murder in Virginia and Kentucky, <laughs> Georgia. Yeah, those yep. places. I Southern. mean, it is really crazy. In 1913, Muddy Waters, an American blues guitarist and singer who played a major role in creating the modern rhythm and blues style, was born. Never heard of it. In 1928, American poet Maya Angelou, perhaps best known for her several volumes of autobiography which explored the themes of economic racial and sexual oppression was born in 1949 the north atlantic treaty organization was formed the founding member nations of this military alliance being belgium canada denmark france iceland italy luxembourg the netherlands norway portugal and the the United Kingdom and the United States. Mm. 
1958, the peace symbol designed by Gerald Holtum made its first public appearance displayed on signage during a protest staged by the British campaign for nuclear disarmament. In 1959, in West Africa, the Mali Federation, a short-lived union between the autonomous territories of the Sudanese Republic and Senegal, led by Leopold Senghor, came into being. Dun, 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 dun. Mm. Ooh. Mm. In 1960, <laughs> the biblical epic Ben-Hur <clears throat> became the first film to win 11 Academy Awards. It notably received Oscars for Best Picture, Director, and Lead Actor. Charleston Heston. In 1969, American surgeon Denton Cooley implanted the first complete artificial heart in a human. Several days later, the patient received a donor heart but died shortly thereafter. Mm. The first one was actually done here at the Milton S. Hershey Medical Center, which later became Penn State Health. Mm. And it was inserted in a Holstein. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. In 1975, Bill Gates and Paul Allen founded Microsoft, which became the world's largest personal computer software company. But you don't hear about Paul Allen. So where is he? No clue. Uh, sitting on a beach, right. drinking margaritas and earning 20%. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> You're probably right, though. In the year 2000, the government of South Korea ordered some 85% of the country's livestock markets closed in an attempt to end an outbreak of foot and mouth disease that had struck Asian livestock. Okay, not to say anything. I still have that disease a lot I because I'm always putting my foot in my mouth. Right, right. Yeah, and putting your foot down as well. Mm. But in a way, let me tell you this. In Texas... They just found the first, again, not the first, but bird flu. Yeah, it was a bird flu, right? But this is what it was. It was bird flu that jumped to a cow that yes. was eaten by a human and transmitted that way. Nice. Wow. Yeah, we saw that on the news uh, two nights ago. In 2002, after 27 years of fighting, the Angolan government and UNITA, or UNITA, signed a ceasefire agreement that ended the country's civil war. In 2013, American film critic Roger Ebert, who was perhaps best known of his profession and the first person to receive a Pulitzer Prize for film criticism, died at the age of 70. Yeah, they used to come on and two thumbs up or a half a thumb up or whatever. In 2023, in a Manhattan court, former U.S. President Donald Trump was arraigned on 34 felony charges relating to an alleged hush money scheme to avoid a sex scandal during the 2016 presidential campaign. He became the first former president in U.S. history to face criminal charges. Mm. And that will do it for this episode of Jeremy Goes Bananas. <laughs> We had oh, a, I forgot. Had a couple of bananas. Yeah, well, we did. Um, I forgot. I got news about me. Do it. Do it now. Why not? Yeah. Okay. Let's hear it. Spill the beans. Hey, okay. I'm a YouTube partner. Yay! <laughs> Yahoo. I only needed 20 hours the other day, but and I forgot. And so what I did when we, when the people were coming, the mm -hmm. physical therapy was coming, I would play my thing in the living room and let it go. Yep. And I guess other people were playing it too. Cause I Perhaps. needed 20 hours. And Thank you guys for watching. And I didn't even know it until <laughs> he came home yesterday from Houston. Thank you guys for watching. Um, we really, really appreciate you. Yes, we do. Just I for do. simply checking out the content. When we dropped that first video, we had no idea that any of this was going to take place. Hey, any Finn is possible has made it in. Good morning. Yes. Good morning. We also got. And he's on the list of uh, people that put out content during the day. 
Uh huh. He's and on our list. Peer runners just made it in. Hello, welcome in. Which peer? P peer P E E R. Okay. Hey Tracy. Yep. 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 Sorry about that. I don't know how to cut it off. Mm. Sorry, I was checking to make sure somebody didn't sneak the heat down on me because <laughs> it's feeling a little drafty in here. A little drafty. <laughs> Turn oh, okay. it down, well, Beth. Wait a minute. I think Controversial Cruising uh, wants us to do our thing. Hey, hey. It's you. No, no. We got. Oh, yeah. As I super. Fully chat. monetized. Yes. And it's all because of you. you. And you. And you. And you. You mean fully penny ties. Penny ties. Penny yes. Ties. Yep. Absolutely. Thank you for that motivation, Scott. Uh, and we have a we have a cup of ch well, I have a cup of change. And you since you said that yeah. for the kids, well, I need a dollar today. Mm -hmm. you know? They got penny ties. They had to count that. Yeah. Will G working and listening. Hello. Hello. Good morning. And we got oh snap, we got hey a YouTube member, a new member, and it's you, you and you and you. Thank and you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Elizabeth says, I can only wish I know right? I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to unshare access. Oh my goodness. I'll tell you how to do it. You just copy and paste. That's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Any finish possible says I'm laid out this week. Pulled my back out. Oh no. no. Oh my goodness. That's not good. That is crazy. Hope you feel better. Me too. We got some congratulations are in order here. Yep. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Midlife thank travels. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yep. It is all because of the fans that we are reaching these milestones. We definitely appreciate you guys. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I feel like a big girl. I know, right? We got, okay. We're all caught up in the chat, which means that it is now time for Scott to bring us the cruise and travel industry news. <laughs> And gin pop. <laughs> Atlantic Canada set for another record cruise season in 2024. That is one of my favorite itineraries, by the way. Mm -hmm. Atlantic Canada Association, or the ACCA, is poised for a groundbreaking year as it prepares to host over 600 cruise ship calls in 2024. Mm -hmm. The association reported a forecasted growth of 10% in cruise passenger visits for the upcoming season, which is launching on the 6th of April, 2024. Atlantic Canada ports include Halifax, Nova Scotia, the city's capital, um, uh, Sydney, located on Cape Bre Brayton, I think it's Brayton, um, Island in Nova Scotia, Charlottetown, which is the capital city of Prince Edward Island, uh, St. John in New Brunswick, and Cornerbrook, located on the island portion of Newfoundland, which I have not been to yet. Um, so it says here, Sarah Rumley, the executive director of the CCCA, says we're thrilled to welcome over 600 cruise ships to the Atlantic Canada this year. Mm. She added, visitors are drawn to our region for its unique culture, hospi hospitable nature, um, and its uh, breathtaking landscape. It is through embracing these differences, the ACCA has successfully positioned Atlantic Canada as a premier cruise destination. The season kicks off in the port of Halifax with arrival of the MSC Postia, uh, which arrives in Nova Scotia on the 2024 World Cruise. The cruise continues to Sydney and Charlottetown before a call in Quebec City and then leaving Canada for Greenland on April 11th. Uh, this year, the port of the port across Atlantic Canada are gearing up for a substantial increase in ship calls and passenger visits. The leader of the ports is, will be Halifax, which anticipates 204 calls, including 12 vessels making their first appearance. Following the MSC Posia is an impressive lineup of ships: Holland America Volendam, uh, the Zyderdam. And the uh, uh, Coral, Emerald, and Island Princesses uh, will be dominating the waterways in eastern Canada. 
The lineup also includes Norwegian Pearl, Norwegian Getaway, as well as the Prima. Um, also, the Insignia, the Oceana Insignia, Regent Seven Seas Mariner, uh, Royal Caribbean's Liberty of the Seas, the Seaborn Quest, the Silver Seas Silver Shadow, and Viking Mars and Viking Star. MSC Cruises adds the MSC Maravilla as a second ship to call on the northern ports, while Cunard's Queen Mary II will make an appearance. Get that, guys? So as multiple ships call on Halifax, the port will see a 35.7% surge in visits, particularly in its peak months of June, July, and August. Uh, also set to break records for the second consecutive year is Port Sydney, which plans a welcome plans to welcome seven new ships during its uh, summer season. The port anticipates a 17% increase with 119 calls. Uh, besides MSC's world a uh, world cruise, uh, Oceana Cru World Cruise on the Insignia will arrive on July 5th. Uh, the Volendam and the Coral Princess also visiting Halifax will include a stop in Sydney on their routes. Cape Breton, which uh, will also welcome Carnival Cruise Lines Pride and Venezia. Uh, Celebrity Cruises uh, Clips and the P&O Arcadia um, are scheduled to visit as well. A forecast of 96 calls to Port Charlottetown um, aims to welcome 166,000 passengers. The calendar features five inaugural visits and notable multiple ship days. On June 25th, the port will experience its first multiple ships uh, in the in in port for that day, which will be the Silver Shadow and the MS or and the um, MS Volendam, which is a Holland America ship. So it says here 170,000 guests are expected across 75 ports, uh, ports of call in St. John, enriched by 10 first-time visits and several overnight stays. Uh, at the same time, Cornerbrook will follow a banner, uh, banner of the year with 37 ship calls, 57,000 passengers anticipated, uh, which will receive 10 inaugural calls. So very exciting. It's an extremely unique uh, experience to uh, visit uh, any of the uh, Canadian maritime ports. Definitely recommend it. If you haven't done it, don't wait. Get on a cruise because it is a fantastic itinerary and you will not regret it. MSC Cruises unveils seven unique districts on the new World America megaship. For the first time since announcing the construction of the MSC World America, parent company MSC Cruises revealed details about the ship's various public spaces, exclusive areas, and unique experiences that await guests. It also discloses the ship will feature a brand new venue that no other MSC cruise ship has, a comedy club. The 2,000 or the 215,863 gross ton ship that can accommodate 6,762 guests at full capacity is MSC's second world class ship following the 2021 launch of the World Europa. Uh, both ships are environmentally advanced with uh, being powered by LNG, liquefied natural gas, uh, with uh, shoreside power connectivity capabilities. The, uh, the cruise line announced seven districts, which include activities for families and children, as well as adults-only spaces, dining, and shopping areas. The MSC Yacht Club, the line's ship-within-a-ship luxury area, is among the districts the popular concept was introduced in 2008 and is offered on about half of the line's 23 ships. Also, with an existing club's private retreat space, the MSC World America will provide butler service, exclusive dining and lounge venues, priority service, and other special perks. Also revealed as a district is the Family Eventura space, 
A outdoor park called the Harbor will be the focal point of this area and will feature a playground modeled on the line's private destination uh, in the Bahamas, Ocean K Marine Reserve. Family Aventura will offer water and dry slides, bumper cars, a roller rink, and other fun spaces for children and teens. The ship's aqua deck promises the, the lore guests looking for the perfect pool day. The space will provide two pools. A deck area will transform into an entertainment space at night. So MSC World America will cater to adults in the Zen district where guests can relax in a quiet atmosphere with expansive ocean views. The fifth and sixth districts will focus on dining and retail. The Galleria will offer a variety of shop spaces and eateries. Will include um, the Dolce Vita Bar, a Jean Philippe chocolate and cafe, uh, the Luna Park Pizza and Burger, high tech entertainment and game shows will be offered in this space as well. Uh, the terraces also mixes dining and shopping with nine dining venues and several retailers and adds the comedy club and karaoke bar. The final district in the World Promenade will also surround the 11 deck high spiral dry slide offering ocean views. The promenade will house the Emporium Coffee Bar where evening entertainment will be offered. All told, the 22-deck ship will feature 13 restaurants, including six specialty venues, six pools, and 14 hot tubs, a sports bar, a mixology bar, and a club for children and teens with appropriate supervised activities. Under construction, the, um, the MSC World America marked a milestone in May of 2023 with the keel laying and coin ceremony, during the traditional maritime event, commemorative coins are placed within the keel of the ship as signed and blessed for good fortune. The ship will be christened on April 9th, 2025 at a ceremony at MSC Cruises' new state-of-the-art terminal in the Port of Miami, which will be the vessel's new home port. MSC Cruises America, a World America is slated to sail her maiden voyage, a seven-night Eastern Caribbean cruise on April 12th, 2025, calling at Amber Cove in the Dominican Republic, San Juan, Puerto Rico, and Ocean K MSC's Marine Reserve in the Bahamas. The ship will sail seven and 14-day Eastern and Western Caribbean cruises with ports, call, ports to call in Amber Cove, San Juan, Ocean K, Costa Maya, and Cozumel, as well as Roatan, Honduras. So I have a quick video I want to show everyone. It's about a minute long, and it's just a really quick um, kind of look inside of the World America. And it is, an, as, as always, MSC has outdone themselves. It is such a beautiful ship. And with all the hate and shade that MSC gets from these diehard American cruisers who want MSC to be, you know, an exact replica of their, you know, favorite cruise line, I say, please go into it with an open mind and appreciate it for what it is, which is offering you a unique new experience that you cannot get in the United States, sailing from the United States on any other cruise line. And if you happen to not like it, you are free to return to your favorite cruise line that you do like, but it is in no way, shape or form, in my opinion, um, uh, meaning that MSC is doing anything wrong. I happen to find it very refreshing, very wonderful, and I uh, really appreciate having it as an option. So let's go ahead and check out this beautiful ship.
Mm. Absolutely fantastic and beautiful. I cannot wait to sail that ship. Wow. We cannot hear you guys. You know, it, I'm always the one that's on mute. Have you noticed that Scott mutes me, Eddie mutes me, now you mute me. And sometimes I have some things to say. Like now, you know, Scott keeps pushing us to go on this Canadian cruise. Mm -hmm. Well, Princess does want, I mean, we, we have two free cruises, Princess and Queen, or Queen Mary the second. I'm... <sighs> Okay, here I am with Queen Mary. Let me ask Scott this. Maybe I should ask Beth because Beth is the world travel traveler. Scott is like gin pop. So <laughs> <laughs> here goes. Queen Mary II. Granted, they are going to have the Canadian cruise, but they also have a repositioning cruise from... Fort Lauderdale to Southampton. You know, Canadian cruise going to Southampton. Okay, so here's what I think. I think you should not do, I think you should not do um, Cunard to Canada. Okay. Okay, that's what I think, right? Second thing is, I think a Canadian cruise is, like I said, fantastic. And it's even better when it includes a few stops in New England. Mm -hmm. So here's the issue with that. Carnival's itineraries do not stop in New England. They all go straight to Canada and come back. Mm -hmm. They do not stop. So if you do a New England cruise, I recommend it not be on Carnival just because you will uh, – a Canada cruise because you'll miss the New England stops because mm -hmm. they won't be stopping there. So do it on any other line. I did it on MSC Maravilla. Um, I also did it on Carnival Magic, which, you know, again, I missed out on all those New England uh, ports. So, um, I mean, it's just – Again, fantastic. I would personally would not use Cunard to do it. I would do the probably the the repositioning on mm -hmm. Cunard, especially for somebody like you who loves sea days. I do. Seven sea days. I mean, you're not gonna get more sea days out of than a transatlantic. Right? I know. So and I'm watching that. And that, and so here's the thing too. Now, my wife, she went on that on that New England cruise. That was her first one. And she didn't, and we did not go to Halifax, right? on mm -hmm. um, that particular sailing. I was in Halifax when I was on there on Carnival Magic. Washington, D.C. is my favorite city in the entire United States. I live only an hour and a half north from it, and I spend a lot of time there. I know the entire Washington, D.C. area like the back of my hand, like I'm a resident. I've been going there since before my kids were born, um, and it's just my favorite place to be uh, it, as far as like visiting a city goes, right? I love going there. And I walked off into Halifax far, far, far away from the cruise port um, and explored the city, went to the city gardens and everything else all on foot. I walked through the neighborhoods and I had to keep reminding myself sometimes, not the whole time, but sometimes I had to keep reminding myself that I was not in some neighborhood of, of Washington, D.C., like Adams Morgan or something like that or whatever, because it just reminded me so much of it. And it was just a fantastic time. And I went into shops and just all over the place. It was absolutely a fantastic time. Um, and I can't wait to get back there again. But I am definitely not done taking um, New England and Canada cruises because they are just a fantastic itinerary with a very short window, though. Mm -hmm. And then the other one, the MSC story. I want to tell everybody, November the 9th, 2025, MSC is coming to Galveston. So you do yep. have a new ship in town. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be on that. And one. we're going to be on the first one smoking out of here. We are already booked. And uh, we're so Yogi excited about booked. this being our first MSC 
experience uh, coming out of our, our hometown. You know, uh, before we branch out to other cities, we just wanted to check it out, see how it goes out of Galveston. I am, I'm going to stockpile salt so that I can um, take those grains of salt uh, along with what is sure to be an avalanche of uh, carnival cruisers complaining about how their MSC Galveston cruise was not like carnival. Mm, I don't want it to be like carnival. I don't want it to be like, I mean, it shouldn't be, be like, like carnival like, either. <laughs> that's, all I hear, that's all I hear all the time from these yeah. MSC, from these first time MSC cruisers. I hear that all the time. Like, yeah. oh, I wish it was like this. I wish it was like that. And I was like, if that's what you want, you should be on that ship yeah. and right. not on an MSC ship. Well, we've been on the Prima. We've seen how the other half lives. Yes, and we love it. Yes, definitely. Uh, Cruising on the high seas and travel is reporting a birthday tomorrow. Justin will have officially made another trip around the sun tomorrow. Yeah. And also, uh, PK Adventure Travel says, congrats. Thank you. On all your success. The Bud Files has made it in. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Welcome in. And PK Adventure Travels also says we are just shy, like 705 subs and about 300 total hours. <laughs> but we know it's a slow process to gather a following. Congrats again. It took yeah. me two two years. Yeah. It took me, I'm telling you, it took me two years. And it took me trying to get the confidence level up to go live. Mm-hmm. Um, because like I said, I used to do live shows for 15 minutes and I would look at the clock to make sure that I didn't go over that 15 minutes because I was nervous. Yep. I wasn't comfortable, you know, as much as I like to talk, I wasn't comfortable. And still to this day, try to play hooky on these regular shows. Yeah, <laughs> Globies Travels has been it in. Good morning. Good morning. Midlife Travel says 128 days into the Carnival Liberty on a 14 day cruise and 153 days until the carnival dream on an eight day crew. All oh, we know about that. We eight know day about cruise. the eight day cruise. I love it. Love it. Love it. it. Yes. That's going to Key West right mm. there. I'm telling you. We and speaking of going that. to Key West, you know, uh, Eddie, you know, I keep hearing about this Key West place. Let's, let's just take the viewers there right now. Mm. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay, there it is. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> October 28th. This year. Yes, this is October. Coming up in uh, about 200 and change days. We'll mm. be there. How many days? We've been out of Tampa, Florida on the Carnival Paradise going on a 6 8 cruise from Tampa to Key West. A whole day of excitement and uh, meeting my brother. He'll be there. We'll be hanging out, drinking some Cuban coffee, eating some snacks from the place, some kilam pie, and a good other bunch of other stuff running around in Double Street, beat all over the port. So plenty to do in Key West. We're also going to go to Montego Bay and Grand Cayman on the Carnival Paradise, did I say? Yes. A bunch of creators will be there. Come on along. You want to get in it? Get your cabin. Put your deposit down. Get in touch with Bruce at Ocean's Ocean Travel to get your cabin going. And October 28th, we're out of there. We, uh, me and Alice, hoping to be there on the 26th. A bunch of people will be landing there on the uh, Saturday 26th or Sunday 27th. Uh, we'll get together uh, Sunday evening at the uh, port area. There's a uh, Sparksman's Wharf, I believe, there, where there's a bunch of places to eat. We'll be hanging out in there uh, that uh, that afternoon, that evening, and then the next uh, next day we'll be uh, boarding the uh, Carnival Paradise and going on our cruise. So get in touch with Bruce as soon as possible so you get your cabin. Uh, it's still got like three cabins left. So and a bunch of other creators are gonna come in alone. So hop into it. There's a Facebook group, uh, the 2.0 Facebook Secret uh, Boost Cruise. Go check it out. So mm -hmm. check out this video. Boost Cruise 2024, hosted by Eddie Lugo Studios, out of Tampa, Florida. Port of Calls, Key West, Florida, Grand Cayman Island. 
Montego Bay, Jamaica. Aboard the Carnival Paradise. Join us for this great cruise, October 28th to November 3rd, 2024. Contact Bruce at OceanToOceanTravel.com. I love that music. And thank you, Mike and Rihanna, for putting this video together. For yes, Eddie. It's absolutely. Really, it's really good. Leonard Family Fun says, my one cruise this year had something new. Carnival Jubilee had the honor of being on the naming ceremony cruise. Didn't get to participate in the festivities. No biggie. I was on the cruise. I know that's right. <laughs> that's all that matters to me. You know, just being on the cruise. And controversial cruising. I'm not sure which one, uh, which cruise you're talking about here. Um, please specify in, in the chat uh, which cruise this is. He says, I believe I'm already booked on this next year with no pants. Looks wild. Oh, maybe. Are we going no no pants? No, there's another channel called uh, No Pants Profits, I think. Oh, that's his buddy. Yeah. That's Paradise. That's the Paradise. He did the Paradise right after Dry Dock. And it's a very good uh, review. He did a very good review that guy did. Yep. See, I watch all of these channels that they don't come into our channel, mm -hmm. you know, per se, but I do watch them. You know, I, I really watch everybody's <laughs> channel. I can't. Mm -hmm. Leonard Family Fun says, sure wish I was on that MSC now or any other show. I, you know what? Mm -hmm. Me too. Me too. And yeah, you know, I, wish, I, I wish I was getting on an MSC ship in six days. Mm. Oh, stop it. PK Adventure Travels. We loved Halifax. We did a four-day four short cruise. It was beautiful. We took a city tour that took us to multiple locations, including Peggy's, Cro Peggy's Cove. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to do a longer one. And I would well, like they to. They have a seven-day on the Princess. <laughs> cruise that says it's a mutiny. They, right. they, they mute you. I, I know. They mute me all the time. Cruise Nuts, Mike. I just want to let you know, I feel like a second class citizen, you know, they don't <laughs> tell me if I don't have lipstick on. You see, they didn't tell me this, you know, I started the show with no lipstick. So, you know, and I'm talking to Scott while I'm getting dressed and nobody says, Cheryl, you don't have any lipstick on, you know. Mm. So here I am, I'm putting lipstick on almost at the end of the show. Then I have a husband that's sitting here and Eddie is supposed to be the union rep. He's supposed to say, okay, you got this out of place, this out of place. Nobody says anything. They just let me fly. Just let me that fly. That guy right there next to you, mm. he should be letting you know. No, that guy right there. He, mm. it's, it's between you and him, not us. Mm. He has got nothing to do with your mm. makeup or whatever the deal. That's between you and Jeremy. Mm -mm. Kathy Mills says, didn't realize Carnival doesn't go to New England anymore. I went on Carnival Splendor about a dozen years ago. New England and Canada is a very relaxing and interesting cruise. And Kathy, remember when they went to uh, Martha's venue, Vineyard? They used to do all of that back in the way back in the day. But, you know, you would have loved that, but they don't do it anymore. Yep. So. Michael Ann Spoiled Bamba has made it into the chat. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And Globe's Travel says, congrats on becoming a, a full-blown partner. Yeah, I wish somebody would have told me. You know, but I, when I asked him, he said, nobody knows that but you. Nobody can know. Yeah. Yeah. But no. you. But see, I wouldn't have known because I don't check my stats because it boggles my mind. So. Will G. Oh, says, just out of curiosity, how long did it take from the time you applied for the partnership till you got the congratulations, you're a partner email. Well, at, at, at first, uh, you know, we had, we had did the uh, 3000 watch hours. Oh, um, that's right. That's right. That's right. See, then, that, didn't, that didn't exist when I, became right. A partner, so it was, it was only a couple of days. It, it was only a couple of days. And okay. then, then from then until now, we've been working on that last thousand watch hours and we finally did it yesterday. Gotcha. On cruising is fun. Anytime. 
Uh, <laughs> Jeremy and Cheryl is still lacking a little, but we're going to be working on that in the upcoming weeks. Oh, uh, cruise nuts. You guys will have to drag my drunk blank back to the ship from Key West, LOL. This you, Scott, and, 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 and Mike. Mm -hmm. it sounds like somebody is going to be doing the Duval crawl. <laughs> oh, Duval. <laughs> yes, I, I can't wait to get back on Duval Street. Mm. Yes, Kathy Mills, water purchases for my cruises this year, Royal Caribbean. 12 one liter is $30.99 or eight cents per ounce. NCL, six one liter is $23.94 or 12 cents per ounce. Carnival Cruise Line, 12 pack, $14.99, seven cents per ounce. But let me tell you, Kathy. That is robbery on the high seas right there. Yeah, I was about to say that that's robbery on the high seas when you mm. can go to Walmart and they just don't want you to do that. And go to any store. Any store is going to be cheaper. Kroger's, H-E-B, you know, all these other yep. stores that people have in their area. Scratch and Pete, P-A, good morning and Eddie. welcome back. Keep uh, on scratching. Yeah, keep yes. it, keep it scratching, keep it pushing. Yes. Goldie has made it back. Hello, good morning good and morning, welcome Goldie. in. Good morning. And let me see. Robbie, robbery on the high seas and cruising. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I just want to, I'm like, Scott, you know, you can nickel and dime people so much. Mm -hmm. But when you start doing this with water, yep. Water, I'm telling you. They can do it. Not anything that's got gold flakes in it or anything like that. This is just regular water that we know on the on the land side. You can get it for cheap, you know. Why would they do that? Why mm -hmm. would they do that to us? I, I don't understand. You know what? Those NCL cartons are just crazy, right? Yep. <laughs> like they're like a big square carton of water, mm -hmm. right? And they are crazy. When I got on Getaway, for some reason, I mean, they were loading me up on Getaway, and and I later found out it was because <laughs> I was in like. NCL like stuck me in some kind of like and VIP employee status or something like that or whatever. I'm not sure what that was all about, but I got chocolate covered strawberries. I got a bottle of wine. I got a free six pack of, well, a carton of those waters. I was mm -hmm. given a whole bunch of stuff. I think it was just because they knew that they stuck me in the room where all the toilet flushes were, but. Oh, and then, you know, and they were trying to just kind of, you know, like calm me down over all the toilet yeah. flushes. But in any event, I, you know, I ended up not drinking any of those waters. And, of course, they were too heavy to, I mean, not that I would want to bring them home. But, I mean, like, they'd right. have been too heavy to bring them home anyway. So. Controversial Cruising says, like, does my water come with casino credit or onboard credit? Right. <laughs> exactly. Yep. You know, with them charging like that, it should be some kind of perk. Okay, uh, PK Adventure Travels. I believe we are still working on a place to uh, meet up and eat at. Um, I am not sure where that's going to be. Uh, traveling with Tinker Bell and Eddie Lugo Studios is going to be working closely hand in hand to find a good place for all of us to go. Um, I, they want to come up and meet with us uh, before. Yeah, we, yeah. I, I, I asked them if they would join us because I think it would be, uh, you know, great to see them and 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 hang out with them again and get them to meet everybody else as well. Um, and we're definitely going to figure it out, and we're definitely going to let you know about it. And it, it won't. It hopefully it won't be kind of <laughs> last minute. Hopefully we get it worked out. Uh, you know, with plenty of time in yeah. advance for you guys to schedule it. So. And also, I believe it's going to be a Sunday evening uh, place to get. It's going to be the 27th because our cruise leaves the 28th. Right. So it's mm -hmm. going to be the night of, it's going to be the evening of the 27th yeah. of October mm -hmm. for sure. Yep. And let me see. Kathy Mills says, I take my own refillable insulated water bottle to put the water in to drink. Me too. We do too. Me too. But sometimes I, uh, I put the tea in there and make a, a full thing of iced tea or sweet tea because mm -hmm. that's what, that's how we do it here in Galveston. 
And controversial cruising says, "Wish it was Galveston. We could go to Coops. I know. I know. This is Florida, though. <laughs> he just said that. We just we drove passed. by Coops yesterday. Yeah, yeah. And he just said that, and I said, man. Why didn't we go to Coops? We didn't know we didn't about, know about Coops. Coops. We watched Controversial Cruising and found yep. out about Coops. Yep. All right. Well, we are, okay. So, speaking of creators coming and going and everywhere and in between, who is coming on for the remainder of the day on YouTube? And I'll tell you right now. <clears throat> That I am, uh, and if it is possible, 11 a.m. Chili's Cruises for Nunish Mayhem and Miracles. 6 p.m. tonight will be Tuber Chat, Connect and Grow mm -hmm. with Kevin, and uh, 7, 7 p.m. tonight. Um, controversial cruising captain controversy with the tutorials on Thursday, Thursday, journey with the gingers and also Parker's on the go. Talk to me tonight, yeah, baby. Nice, okay. Uh, midlife travel says, Cheryl, have you guys visited the new store in Galveston? It is Gordon Restaurant Market. We haven't, we haven't but we saw it in the uh, we, we read a lot, we saw it, and we're gonna go. We yeah. haven't done it yet, but we're going to go. We got to um, go check that out. We just haven't done it. And Michael Ann Spoiled Mom says, Coops, is this somewhere we need to check out in October? According to um, Scott from Controversial Cruising, you've got to go check it out. It's uh, a it's barbecue a, place. It's a barbecue place located on Broadway. I mean, it's right there. Texas barbecue. Uh, eh, you know, <laughs> every, not everybody can be in KC. Mm. Uh, and Michael Ann Spoiled Mama says 6 p.m. Eastern. She is going live. So we right. go ahead and add her I'm to gonna, I'm going to add you to the list right now. Yes. All right. Well, thank you guys for hanging on in there with us for the duration of the show. We always appreciate uh, we always appreciate you guys coming in. Um, but we shall sign off until tomorrow. We got two shows coming at you tomorrow, uh, same time. AM and PM. That is 8 a.m. Uh, Central Standard Time. And uh, until then, you guys take care of each other out there. Take care of yourselves. Uh, be sure to hit the like button on your way out. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And never, ever forget, we love you and good morning. Good morning. Bye. Bye.